Chicken Cobra get the fangs. Hey guys, so today nothing has changed. Um, with Josh and Jessica, they are still just in a relationship on Facebook. Um, they have not put each other as a tagged partner in that relationship, so that's interesting. Jessica posted this kind of funny meme when someone asked where all my friends are. That one kind of made me laugh. And me when I realized how my family passed down mental health issues instead of land and money. Yeah, I think that's all of us though, Jessica, so stop being such a victim. So she did say that she was in Instagram jail, but she was able to make a post in her stories, so make it make sense. And Jessica Messica is to thanks for the clip that we're going to be watching. And I'm going to show you guys some of the highlights from Jessica's stream. But if you want to see the whole thing, head over to her channel. I'll link it down below. Because I've decided that's all I'm going to eat today. It appears now is on a diet and trying to lose more weight. And yet your dumb bitch ass is still here. I'll probably lick your mom's c night. Or licks. No one asked your dumb bitch ass to click, but yet you did. Shows how obsessed you fucking losers are. Shows how fucking obsessed your little fucking shit for brains are, right? That you got to complain about someone you don't even fucking like. Oh, God, what a world. What a fucking world. I'm going to go stalk some bitch I don't fucking like, and then I'm going to cry and complain about it. I'm going to cry and complain because my mommy never snacked me in the face with the fucking belt. Um, that's an extremely messed up and strange thing to say. They cry and complain when it's boring, but when I actually try to give them content, they fucking try to ruin me. So make it make sense. You people are so mentally ill. Please check your own selves out. And you know what I mean. Oh my gosh, she doesn't do anything. She's so boring that she does something. We're gonna cry and bitch and complain and fucking squeal about it like little bitch fucking pigs. Ah. But yet, yeah, you fucking dicks sit out with your dicks out at the computer all day, waiting, 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 and then you gotta complain because you don't get what you want. And when you get what you want, you ruin it. Oh, she was big mad yesterday before their little breakup, huh? Oh, my crafts will be started by myself alone. Nobody gets to partake in any of that. Sorry, you guys all ruined that. Sorry. No one gets to partake in any of that. Sorry. Sorry. Everyone wants to dismiss me, treat me a certain way, do all this shit to me. Act like nothing, everything done to me. Oh, I'm just supposed to suck it up. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'd tell you that, too, if you've been through everything. I've. Oh, just suck it up. I'll pat you on the head like a little dog. Oh, just suck it up. Well, everyone has ruined it. Everyone. Everybody has. Butterfly. Oh, hi, spider. Look at you. Right above my head like that. So at this point, people were asking what it means when Jessica references being patted on the head by police officers. Remember in the clip from a day or two ago when she was like, oh, the police officers, they pat you on the head like a good little doggy or a good little girl or whatever. Um, that's basically in reference to the times that Jessica has had wellness checks called on her and she's had the police show up at her house and she's been live streaming like in the tub about to pass out, for example. Those are the times where she feels like she just gets that little pat from the police officers and they go in their merry way. That's why Jessica doesn't um, take it seriously when the cops are called on her or she has welfare checks, even though it's pretty disturbing and pretty unusual. Most people never have that once in their lifetime, but Jessica does several times a year from what we've seen in the past. I'm sorry for being a bitch, but this is how everyone's turned me into, so. Oh, well. When I quit streaming completely, you knew me then. You knew me when. Whatever. Oh, well. This is what y'all wanted. Leaf Hopper, oh, aren't you beautiful? Hey, I know you're gonna jump as soon as I try to pet you. 
but you're beautiful. You're big too. Hi. Hey, well, you're the one on my purse. Don't do a little dance. Come here. Come here. You're going to jump. You're going to jump. Come here. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Come here. Come here, bug. Hey, get off of my drink. Get over here, you little weirdo buggo. Oh, well, fine. Goodbye. Yeah, well, that's hard to even tell. I don't, I've been lied to so many times. Even when people are telling me the truth, I don't know who to believe. Because I've been lied to so much. And some people get butt hurt when I tell them that because, oh, they haven't been through what I've been through. So they don't know what it's like to constantly give someone a chance just to be fucking backstabbed. And then it ruins it for the genuine people. And then every time I try to talk about my feelings, they're just dismissed like, oh, I'm just supposed to suck it all up. When people are making name off my likeness without my consent or permission. So now I'm going to be looking into suing people. And yes, I am going to be looking into this. If they don't take the shit down themselves, I'm going to be looking into suing Remember this post from yesterday? Mm-hmm. I already, already looked up. I already fall under the fucking categories for this shit. So if it's worth it to them, I guess I'm going to have to follow through. I don't want no money from this. I, I want whatever money made paid to my legal fucking fees. Whatever money was made off of me, obviously I'm not going to make a goddamn dime. Get whatever that money to my lawyer after I fucking win. Because I'm tired of this shit. Oh, people get to draw me fucking naked and put it on a shirt. You get to draw my likeness naked and put it on a shirt. Okay. But I'm just supposed to sit back and be okay with that. All right, so here's the shirt. You guys tell me, do you think this looks like Nal and Cobra? Does it only look like them because we know them? Do you think someone walking down the street who randomly saw this artwork would think for one second, hmm, that looks like someone I've seen online? Or do you think they would just think it was some random art? Because it's not the same as like seeing like Mickey Mouse or Minnie Mouse being like copyright infringed. Not the same at all. Looks nothing like the realistic versions of themselves. Actually, it looks like some sort of demonic version of them. I think it's funny as hell, but you know. Uh, she's upset, so let's listen to her rant some more. I'm supposed to be okay with that. They wouldn't like it if it's being done to them. And nowhere did anyone get my uh, consent or permission for this. So everyone thinks they can do everything to me, and I'm just, just supposed to sit back and either kill myself or just just suck it up like nothing's supposed to be done back to them no repercussions or nothing oh just make money off of me and i'm just supposed to sit back and take it okay Okay, so this is the artist. They are called Exhumed Visions. They said that they took it off Etsy in case she made a big stink because Etsy is kind of PC. Someone replied, Exhumed is boys with deathbed tapes. She's biting the hands that feeds Josh and herself. Hmm, interesting. I have no support system. I have no one to fucking talk to. I have no one to fucking talk to. You fucking help me. Everyone just tells me to just, oh, just ignore it. You put yourself out there. You asked for this. Yeah, that's what abusers would say. That's what abusers would say. I just want to take this moment to bring up a point that she's always calling other people abusers, yet does not have the self-awareness to realize that she herself is an abuser. She drops the hard R word and F word multiple times. 
she says all the slur words that you can think of and constantly talks about incest and uses it as insults like go f your brother or some weird shit because she's a sicko she's made essay threats to children she said that the drunken peasants if they had daughters that she hoped they get r-worded she even though they don't have kids which is good but still the point is that she said it and that's really messed up she also apparently doxed someone's kid um prior to dating josh this was like a real thing that happened and i don't know the details on that but apparently that's happened and she's made other threats to children um another reaction channel she made the threat to find that child's school and tell them about what their mother was doing online because she's a reaction channel so just remember who we're talking about here and Nal is not a good person no matter how much she tries to make herself look like a victim she's just not oh yeah i'm gonna fight one of them when one of them is josh's mod yeah okay yeah good luck there yeah when one of the people making merch off of me is one of josh's mods yeah yeah i'm sure that'll go down really good Hold on. T. Okay. Exhumed talked to Josh today about the situation. So Exhumed is the one that made the t-shirt with Cobra and Nal on it. And Nal is pissed about it because she didn't get consent. Give consent. Exhumed talked to Josh and he says this. Yes. He, Josh, took my side and it made them get into a fight, which I believe led to the breakup. But now they're back together. So it wasn't an accident. Thank you. Thank you for giving us that information. So Exhumed Visions says that basically they work with Josh. They make Josh his random merch and t-shirts and other things. This is Deathbed Tapes link if you guys want to go and check that out at some point. You know, it seems like they must be pretty good friends, this person and Josh, because Josh is letting this person run their merch and do all this stuff for them. And it's understandable that Josh wouldn't just block this person because now got mad and told him that he had to. She probably tried to unalive bait him. People are suggesting that that's how she got him to like basically make up with her during this. And now has no choice now except to except the fact that Josh is going to have a mod she doesn't like um that this mod you know did create this t-shirt and she's just gonna have to get over it because josh is not like dumping this friend he's not dumping this person that he's been working with for so long so tough luck for her i guess <laughs> again i feel like josh and now really do deserve each other they're both horrible human beings and at the end of the day this is all just for our entertainment so don't take it too seriously don't get too caught up in it um i've had a couple people ask about um their YouTube channels and being hard to find them. Both of their channels are still active. Here's Queen Cobra. Here's King Cobra JFS. Um, both of them are totally still on YouTube. It's just that the reaction channels are getting so much traction that we're getting pushed to the top of the feed instead of them. So love that for us. <laughs> oh, and I do have a little bombshell to drop that came up in the chat last night as well. Um, a allegedly conspiracy whatever um, Nal has sex tapes of her and Josh, pictures and video, supposedly, allegedly, whatever. There was a time when she was threatening Josh and she alluded to not showing everyone everything. People are saying that that's what she meant by that. Someone close to her in her circle of mods or whoever has supposedly let that information leak. Now, again, this is a rumor. It's speculative. But if it's true, that's very dangerous. Um, Josh has released some of his own uh, material so to speak in the past but the fact that now has this material now of the two of them together and that possibly she could use it against him is pretty messed up um there was also a rumor that they were shopping it around however i don't think that that's a realistic option or truth because she wouldn't be broke if that was true right unless she's blowing through like i don't know a lot of drugs or something but yeah, I'm going to keep an eye on any developing stories with that. And, um, you know, hopefully nothing comes of that because if that's something that she has, she needs to be respectful about that. So does Josh. Um, but uh, I did just want to let you guys know that that's a thing. And then also I am going to be doing a video on 
Nal and her previous mod, Grey Alien, who did an interview with another reaction channel. I want to watch that with you guys and talk about that. And uh, it seems like that's what Nal is alluding to when she says you can't trust anyone. And she was hurt by someone recently. And that was that mod um, that made her not trust anyone anymore. So thank you to that mod, Grey Alien. Thank you. Um, I'm excited to watch the video, the interview that she did. And I'm going to bring you guys some of the best clips from that. So we'll have that video to you guys hopefully tomorrow. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to like, share, comment down below if you have any theories or any information for me that I left out or didn't hear. Please feel free to let me know. And I'll see you guys soon. Mm -hmm.